in the world of nutrition there is no debate as fierce as one between the vegetarians and the non-vegetarians but which one is better is it a vegetarian diet or non-vegetarian diet or recently popularized vegan diet let us find out what modern science and ayurveda has to say about veg and non-veg foods i will also share with you my perspective on it so if you are confused if you should eat non-veg or not this is the video for you stay tuned Hello friends, welcome to FitTuber. You will be surprised to know that in the 19th century, over 75% of the Indians were vegetarians and only 20-25% to of the Indians were non-vegetarians. However, today the numbers are completely different with 71% of the Indians being non-vegetarians and only about 28% of the people being vegetarian. And there are less than 1% vegans in India who completely abstain from animal-based products like eggs, milk, milk products and even honey. The rise of veganism is probably due to the reports that have come in for the torture of animals and adulteration in milk. Even with such a huge paradigm shift, India is still the country with the most vegetarians in the world. But what could be the reason of such a sudden change? Is it western influence or is it backed by science? What is best for our health? Non-veg, veg or vegan diet? Let us find out. According to modern science, eggs, chicken, mutton and other meat sources are extremely important part of diet as they are rich in protein. Of course, a majority of people who eat non-veg for health eat it because it has protein in it. That's due to the fact that animal protein is considered complete source of protein which contains all the 9 essential amino acids. According to DRI, an average person who has a sedentary lifestyle requires about 0.8 grams of protein per kg body weight daily. However, if your goal is to improve muscle mass and lose fat, modern science recommends more protein in your diet. Apart from protein, animal flesh is found to be rich in several vitamins and minerals like vitamin B12, niacin and selenium. But the opinion of modern science is not unanimous on this theory and that's the problem. Every now and then reports come up regarding the ill effects of meat eating. There are numerous studies that point out that processed meat is harmful to health. Then there are other reports pointing out that red meat is cancer causing while the white meat is healthy. Some studies are against this as well. Some latest reports have even suggested that meat in any form reduces longevity and increases the risk of cancer and heart diseases. T. Colin Campbell, an American biochemist who published his famous China study book in 2005, examined the link between animal products including milk and diseases for 20 years, concluded that plant-based wholesome diet is the best. Dr. Campbell pressed that protein derived from animal products including dairy is cancer-causing. Many more researchers are in tune with this theory. Also, it's no hidden fact now that the greenhouse gas emissions by the slaughterhouse animals leads to 25% of the climate changes. 80% of the world's farmlands are used for animals which produces only 18% of the world's calories. The living conditions of these animals are disgusting. It turns out that what we put on our plate matters a lot. In conclusion, modern science viewpoint keeps on changing. However, the general viewpoint is that lean white meat is safe and rich in protein and other vitamin nutrients like vitamin B12. Talking about what Ayurveda has to say, well, our scriptures do not have a forbidding tone whether you should eat meat or not. They have clearly mentioned the consequences of eating meat and then the choice rests on the individual. Our scriptures suggest that food should not just be considered as a source of nourishment for the body but also as a vibration for the mind. There are foods in the mode of goodness, there are foods in the mode of passion and then there are foods in the mode of ignorance. When an animal is about to get slaughtered, imagine the emotions that it must go through. That becomes the vibration of the meat. And when we eat it, the same vibration resides within our mind. Then these vibrations show up in the form of anger, lethargy, depression and ignorance. The same has been perpetuated in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita chapter number 17 verse 10. Chapter 6 of Ashtang Hridyam does talk about meat eating. However, it specifies the meat which has been freshly hunted in the jungles. And that too for special sects of people who does not have access to normal food, mainly Adivasis. Our scriptures also suggest that since man is the highest evolved animal on earth, it should eat food which involves least amount of violence, that is fruits and vegetables. Ayurveda recommends getting protein from living foods like dals and sprouts and not dead meat. Moreover, our saints and sages have propounded that mother nature has not designed human beings to eat meat. 
physiologically our teeth resembles more like herbivorous animals our digestive tract is also longer in tune with the leaf eating animals meat gets rotten quickly perhaps that is why carnivorous animals have shorter intestines moreover the structure of nails the way of drinking water and vision suggests that we are better eating plant based what about dairy products well indian cow has been revered like mother since long in this culture our scriptures highly recommend drinking pure indian cow milk its ghee or clarified butter is compared to nectar so ayurveda is clear that man who is the most evolved animal on earth should eat consciously creating the least amount of violence for optimum physical and mental health non veg food should be abstained from however the choice rests on the person and he shall bear the consequence in my opinion one should eat holistically a diet should not just benefit your body and mind but it should be conducive to other creatures as well as the environment we are living in if you want to achieve the highest level of mental clarity and physical health be vegetarian and if you think it will hinder your fitness goals then let me tell you that there are so many examples to show that the best of physical body can also be achieved living on a vegetarian diet and when it comes to milk and milk products my stance is that you should get desi cow milk probably from a gao shala near you well if you are not ready to put in much effort you should at least try to keep non vegetarian food to minimum consume packaged milk products focus mostly on vegetarian foods the choice is yours I want to thank Oziva for partnering with us for this video. Check out Oziva's plant-based biotin and their amazing protein and herbs made separately for men and women. Oziva's biotin is a whole food derived from plants to reduce hair fall, hair thinning and for stronger hair. Being 100% plant-based without any chemical additives, it has faster absorption as compared to most biotin supplements available in the market. To reap its benefits, have two scoops of it in 100 ml of water any time of the day. Their protein and herbs is a unique blend of whey protein and ayurvedic herbs like ashwagandha and shatavari for better recovery and proper hormonal balance what makes this product one of its kind is that it's naturally sweetened with stevia and has no artificial sweeteners preservatives or soy for best results after workout have one scoop of it with water all these products by oziva are safe for both men and women and are highly recommended to buy them click on the link down in the description box so friends that's all for this video i hope you found it to be helpful if yes then please show me your support by giving this video a big thumbs up what next would you like to see in this series comment below you can now support my work on patreon so that i can bring more well researched videos for you please do remember to subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me you can also follow me on instagram where i regularly do q and a sessions my name is vivek i thank you so much for watching